just move the layer uh, and keyframes around until you time it correctly. Now duplicate the smoke layer three more times and rearrange them so that they fit around his body shape. You can scale and rotate the smoke layers until you get something that you like. Okay, so we have a teleportation, but it's not finished yet. What we're going to do now is pre-compose all the smoke layers together. We want to scale it from 0 to 100 within 2 or 3 frames at the beginning of the teleport. We need to fade the smoke out at the end of the layer, so we need to add a curves adjustment. So go to Effect, Color Correction, Curves. Change the curves from RGB to Alpha. Now make two keyframes. The first one we're going to leave and the second we're going to drag the curves effect down until the smoke disappears. After a little tweaking you can get the look that you're looking for. To add colour to the smoke go to effect, colour correction, tint. I'm going to use a dark blue but you can use any colour you want or even mixed colours if that's what you want to do. Okay, now we need to make our first teleporting effect, so all we need to do there is duplicate the smoke layer and time it up with the first teleport. And don't forget to fade your actor in as well as out. You'll have to also um, scale the smoke down, um, maybe 40-50% so it fits around the character uh, when, it's, when he's further back. You may want to adjust some of the settings of uh, your last teleportation, something like the, the scale and the speed, uh, maybe the curves and uh, maybe even the tint. You'll run into a problem with the smoke covering the actor for a while. Um, so what you can do there is just adjust the curves so that the smoke fades out a lot faster than it does with the other teleport. Like I was saying before, um, you want to fade the character in and out. There's other ways of uh, fading the character in, but I was going to use this way because it's the quickest. Now we're going to add the sound effects uh, for the teleporting effect. Just drag and drop and hit LL to get the waveform up. You'll want to move the peak of the sound to the peak of the teleport just before the person disappears. I've made two different sounds for an enter and an exit. Uh, if you have downloaded the files for this tutorial then you'll have them. 
after lining the uh, teleporting sounds up, you can just drop the traffic ambience over the top just to make everything blending a bit better. Just to tidy things up, you can lower your um, work area bar and snap it till the end of the video and trim to comp and then you'll have a nice little section of all your videos and, that, and then what you might want to do is pre-compose all of them and add a wiggle adjustment. What you'll want to do now is uh, scale the video up by uh, 10 or 20 percent and alt click on position and type in wiggle um, bracket 5 comma close bracket. You should have something that looks a little like this. Uh, don't forget that you can get the sounds from my channel as well as the footage. Uh, this is Razrocks for TubeTape.com and I'll see you next time.